Hello, so you just bought some really cheap Kershaw ballistic ram with LEDs on them uh, and you want them to set the color you want or you disable them at startup and you want the most simple way possible. All right then, install the ballistic software, which looks like this, called mod. And when you start it, it will have a USC prompt because they didn't sign it. Thanks, Kershaw. When it starts, it opens a window. You can select colors, turn it on, turn it off, whatever you want. If you go in settings, you will see a turn at startup. Well, don't click that because if you click it, it will run at startup and then you will get the USC prompt. Um, that means every time you have to go and click OK. And um, that sucks. So let's do something else. So once you get your colors, close it. Make sure you actually kill the program. Go to your start menu, type task scheduler, run that and then do create task in the actions. Call it something, like start mod. Put a nice message for crucial. Crucial, you check. Please fix your code, thanks. Uh, make sure you check run with highest privileges. This will basically get rid of the USC prompt. Go to trigger, new trigger. Begin the task at logon. Just OK that, new action. And then click Browse, find mod.exe, which is probably in C, program files, crucial, ballistic mod utility. And you found it, click on that. Okay, everything, keep default. Defaults are good, no problem. Now we have a task that I call start mod. Let's test it, see if it actually runs. Click run in the actions. All right, it runs, no USC prompt, good. We still get a window that automatically open. Unfortunately, you cannot click the hidden option because crucial is not great at coding. Uh, it creates a window after and this will not work. So let's exit that, make sure you kill it. And let's make another task. And let's call this one something slightly different. I'm gonna call it start mode killer. Also run it with highest privilege. Important, it needs to be able to kill the task. Do a new trigger again, still at logon, same user, and this time select delay task for and make it for about two seconds. So we're gonna run this task right after. We're gonna wait two seconds and then we're gonna run a new action on this one. It's called task kill slash im mod.exe. This means we're gonna kill the task called mod.exe. Okay, that. Okay, this warning just tells you those are the arguments for the command. Okay, that as well. And now we have those two tasks. So now let's try them. So we're gonna run start mode first. All right, the window shows up. Now you're gonna select the killer, run this, and the window disappear. And that's it. This will run every time I log on, set your LED, kill the program. And the nice thing about it is you don't need to install anything else. Uh, so there's another workaround where you can use the Asus software that does this, but then you have to install all the Asus software if you don't want it. You can just add this couple of tasks. If Everest is too slow, you can modify this mod killer task, modify the trigger, and just change the delay to be maybe one second. If it's too fast, maybe three seconds, if you have a really slow PC. And that's it. Enjoy.